So my friends, this will be one interesting review. On the one hand, you have this beautifully appointed gadget, a smartwatch, made with excellent materials and more than adequate build quality, considering its price. But on the other hand, you have a very aggressive seller which uses shady and really uncomfortable methods of uh, promoting its products. I'm talking about Timu.eu or Timu or Timu or TMEU. I'll put a link in the description and in the video so you can understand why I'm actually really um, taken aback by this product. But nevertheless, that's my own thought and experience. What I would like to determine is whether this is a out and out smartwatch worth your money and time because at the price it's being sold at right now uh, it's rather hard to imagine what the strategy the campaign or the marketing idea behind this watch really is so without any further ado let's get into the watch 4 pro from Timu and see what it's all about <laughs> What would you be willing to pay when purchasing a smartwatch? Would you be willing to part with around 200 euros or rather the, the amount of money I paid in 2021 for this Samsung Galaxy smartwatch? I believe this is the 2 series. Would you be willing to pay a very attractive discounted price for a premium product like this Huawei GT2 Pro? for which I paid in 2023 around 150 euros. Or would you go even lower than that and pay around 25 to 30 euros for a Chinese knockoff of the previous two smartwatches? But what if I told you you could get this smartwatch with around 5 euros from the seller Timu.com? EU or .com or whatever. So yeah, that is a very tempting proposal. Five euros for a smartwatch. I kid you not. This thing was purchased with about 25 lei, which translates to exactly five euros. Now, of course, there are other hidden fees like I believe the transportation, the, the, the delivery of the smartwatch, even though it wasn't hugely expensive, maybe it cost around 4 to 5 lei additionally, which is about 1 euro. The shipping took forever, meaning around 3 to 4 weeks, and finally, you have to declare this thing at customs, in my country at least, in my home country, and to go through a complex and elaborate and rather uncomfortable process of getting into getting your parcel into possession so receiving the goods having said that i think this thing is more than worth it at least when it comes to hardware and presentation you get a fully metallic uh, strap which is very well built and actually is better built and uh, more premium feeling than my previous um, replacement nondescript bracelet which I got for my Huawei GT2 Pro. Now granted this wasn't uh, expensive either. I paid around 60 lei or about 12 euros for two bracelets. So yeah, you get the quality that you pay for. But this actually is better. So the Watch 4 Pro has a better quality. Speaking of the, well, the chassis, the smartwatch's chassis, the bezel is looking quite nice. So the chassis is also very well appointed and it seems to be some sort of painted finish on top of it. So I can't really say this is brushed uh, titanium or an anodized aluminium or whatever. I find it hard to believe that this would be the case like in the GT2 Pro. 
and the glass itself even though well appointed rounded out like on the Samsung uh, smartwatch I don't really think it's gorilla or rather scratch resistant I can't really um, speak so much about the wear and tear resistance of this smartwatch because its owner uh, a friend of mine got it about a week or so a week ago or so so he didn't really test it and neither did, did I I got it yesterday and I fumbled I fumbled around with it for a couple of minutes before I got bored suffice it to say that the build quality is more than impressive also what I have found out is that the battery life is adequate at about five to six days of um, standby and you might be tempted to consider that very impressive and granted that is impressive but as soon as you start to play around with the functions of the smartwatch the battery life decreases significantly now it's not worrisome and it will not be dropping out its um, its power from I don't know from one hour to another so it's not disconcerting in any way but I would say I would point out that battery life for this smartwatch is not its strong point granted it can stay in standby for six days but when you start to play around with the functions uh, realistically I think two or three days is tops which is fine it's the same thing as the Samsung Galaxy second generation smartwatch but it's not its strong point that's what I mean it's not like the Huawei GT2 Pro which can go with functions for more than 10 days if you also have this thing that's including it then the box which is the charger it's supposed to be magnetic but it isn't really and I'll try to see with my Huawei if that's the case yeah so you see what happens when you buy a cheap um, watch a cheap Chinese knockoff this thing is magnetic but the watch doesn't really have enough ferrous metallic uh, iron material inside it to keep it clasped together with the charging pad. I shall take now for demonstration purposes this Huawei GT2 Pro which also has an original um, charging pad which is different from this one. This is the Chinese Timu one and watch what happens. It sticks right on and when you take it to the copycat, the cheap watch, yeah so that's what happens when <laughs> when you purchase a cheap watch now then things I don't like about the smartwatch I don't like the first of all I don't like these buttons and I don't like the way it vibrates when I use it now have a listen so I don't know the the functions of the, the way this smartwatch operates whenever you access anything you by the way you can change the home screen just by scrolling on this uh, uh, lever here um, it's very sensitive and inaccurate at the same time and that makes for a horrible um, user experience whenever you touch this thing even by mistake it will switch and then when you don't want to, when you actually want to switch between screens you don't have the accuracy or the finesse to do so um, correctly which is kind of a letdown also the screen is an AMOLED and I know this because it's an always on screen and therefore since only AMOLEDs do that it's clearly an AMOLED. It's not the brightest thing and it's not the clearest thing either and I don't really like uh, the quality of the colors. It's nowhere near as good as the Huawei one which I have here in my hand and obviously it's nowhere near as good as the Samsung either. This one being slightly more full with richer colors and stuff like that. 
Also, since we're going to drawbacks right now and I'm going to be pounding on this watch quite a lot, I don't really like the menu, nor do I understand it, nor do I care to understand it, because it's very cluttered and very filled with a lot of copycats and uh, similar uh, layouts from uh, other manufacturers like Apple and Samsung and Huawei and really I don't understand the point of this though you do get a lot of apps in the in the in the smartwatch itself so I guess that's a plus but we'll get to some features uh, in uh, in a short while now the the bracelet I haven't measured it actually but it seems to be identical with the Huawei one so I'll put an information here in terms of what this uh, what this bracelet is but for another test I shall be putting this smartwatch on my wrist I will be placing the Huawei one as well here and try to take my pulse while um, well, while wearing both of them, see if I can catch this on camera. And actually, I, I can tell you that these things are pretty accurate. So uh, when comparing this with my Huawei watch, I got a fluctuation of about 2 BPM. So whenever I got 70 uh, BPM on my Huawei, I got about 72 BPM on the watch Pro 4 thingy from Timu. So actually it's not that bad. There are several functions available on this smartwatch, but honestly, I'm not really that impressed with this thing. And since this isn't really a, even a proper review, I decided to skip on any other comparisons and just go straight ahead to my, I don't know, rushed conclusion, whatever you want to call it, first look and some sort of preliminary conclusions to the smartwatch. Now, what I would like to say is that um, for five euros, this thing is unbeatable. Now, really, this is worth five euros all day long, even for the bracelet. For 25 euros, which is the normal price, because you get a first time offer from Timu, for 25 euros, um, I would kind of think about this thing, whether it's worth it or not. See, to me, I would rather spend around 100 euros for a proper smartwatch, which gives off correct readings, has an established support for software and for hardware, maybe has a warranty if you buy it new, something like a Huawei GTE or GT2, GT Basic, I don't know the lineup, but you get the idea, the lower costing variant from an established manufacturer, rather than, than this shady, um, this rather suspicious and conspicuous looking copycat. Additionally, what I dislike the most is the, um, well, the purchase process, the experience of ordering and getting to possess this particular uh, product. The idea is that, yeah, it's cheap to purchase this thing for 25 euros. It's a all in all bargain to get it for five euros. But you have to wait for three weeks. You have to declare you some sort of idea of what you're purchasing. And while well, you have to go through that horrid user experience with the website, the horrid purchase experience I was describing earlier in the beginning of the video. And to me, it's, it's just not worth it, really. I, I'm, I'm at that point in my life, nearly 40 years old, I'm not rich, but I'm stable financially enough that if I want a thing to purchase, 
I would rather go to the extra length and pay more to get the proper device or service or whatever I'm trying to purchase rather than getting a knockoff which just feels cheap in every sense of the word. So yeah, I guess this Watch 4 Pro from Timu, this copycat is just not for me. That shouldn't stop you from trying it and Really, if you have the patience and uh, resource to purchase this watch and use it, I guess it's more than compelling at this point, but the end experience is a letdown. And I wouldn't switch from my Huawei GT2 Pro, no regret purchasing this at all. So I don't know if that has been informative or not, but <laughs> Yeah, that's my view on the Watch 4 Pro from Team U. And as always, remember, I buy, hoard and collect, but sometimes borrow weird and quirky, but not necessarily obsolete tech stuff, <laughs> so you don't have to. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.